Hello, guys. Let's talk about the common ion effect. So we already learned how to calculate the pH of strong and weak acids and bases. Now, how would the equilibrium and the pH be affected if we would add a significant amount of the conjugate to the solution? Let's take a look at an example. Let's say that I have acetic acid. So this is going to be my acid in this dissociation reaction. I'm going to make H plus ions plus acetate ions. And the acetate ions are actually my conjugate base ions. Now, what would happen if I would add a significant amount of this conjugate base into my solution? Let's say by the addition of CH3OONA, which is going to be a strong electrolyte, sodium acetate. So when it is in a solution, it's going to dissociate into the acetate ion, so CH3OO minus aqueous, plus Na plus aqueous ions. So this means that I'm going to increase the concentration of the acetate ion in my solution. We learned from Le Chatelier's principle that when we increase the concentration of one of the products in the reaction, the equilibrium will start shifting to the left towards the reactants. So what will happen to the pH in this case? Well, because the pH is given by the H plus ion concentration, and because my equilibrium is shifting towards the reactants to the left, I'm going to have less H plus ions. So my pH is going to become less acidic. So it becomes higher than the pH of the pure CH3OOH solution. Okay, I hope this makes sense. So let's summarize it. So when we have a weak electrolyte, in this case, we have acetic acid, a strong electrolyte, for example, sodium acetate containing a common ion, in this case, the acetate ion, are together in a solution. The weak electrolyte, the acetic acid in this case, will ionize less than if it would if it were alone in the solution. Okay, now let's take a look at an example. We actually calculated the pH in a previous video of a 0.1 molar acetic acid solution, and we got 2.87 as the pH. Now let's try to figure out what is the pH if I add to this 0.1 molar acetic acid solution an additional 0.1 mole per liter of sodium acetate. So we expect the pH to become less acidic because my H plus ion concentration decreases due to Le Chatelier's principle. So the pH should be somewhere above 2.87. Now, as usually, we do our favorite rice tables. I already have the reaction in here. So I have the acetic acid forming H plus ions and acetate ions. Let's start filling out this table. So the initial concentration of acetic acid is given for us, which is 0.10 mole per liter. So I'm going to add that in here. I know that uh, I have an aqueous solution, but the H plus ion concentration due to auto-ionization is so small that I can say that at the beginning, I basically have zero H plus ion concentration. And because I added to this solution 0 0.10 mole per liter of sodium acetate, which dissociates into acetate ions and sodium ions, I have already at the beginning 0 0.10 mole per liter of that. All right, what is the change in concentration? Well, I'm going to have minus X for acetic acid, then plus X for H plus and plus X for CH3OO minus. Now, what are the equilibrium concentrations? 0 0.10 minus X, X and 0 0.10 plus X. Now, 
I want to make an approximation. I think that actually X is such a tiny, tiny number that I can disregard it compared to 0 0.10 mole per liter. So I'm going to assume that 0 0.10 minus X will approximately equal to 0 0.10. Similarly, I'm going to do that for the CH3O minus ion concentration and say that 0 0.10 plus X will approximately equal to 0 0.10 mole per liter. All right, let's write out the equilibrium expression. So K sub A equals, the products are on the top, so H plus ion concentration multiplied by the acetate ion concentration, CH3OO minus, divided by the acetic acid concentration. Now I can plug in the volume, so the H plus ion concentration is X. I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.10, 0 0.10 right here, and divide that again by 0 0.10. Okay, so these concentrations will cancel out, and I know that the acid dissociation constant for acetic acid at 25 degrees Celsius is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, so this expression equals to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And because my concentrations canceled out, my x is going to equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, and because my x is actually Actually, the H plus ion concentration. Now I can calculate the pH. So the pH equals negative log of H plus ion concentration, which equals to minus log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And if you plug this into a calculator, you are going to get 4.74 as your pH. And this makes sense. This is exactly what we expected. If we have a 0 0.1 molar acetic acid solution, we are going to have a pH of 2.87. When we add a common ion, in this case the acetate ion, due to the Le Chatelier principle, our equilibrium will shift towards the reactants to the left, so our pH will become less acidic. In this case, it's going to become 4.74. All right. I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.